Whoa, hello. It's the Squidman. And friends. And friends. Ba -dum -ba -dum -dum. Friends. <laughs> Corey, you sound very semi excited about said friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends, yay. Friends. Adderon. Who are you? I see. Hi. Friendo. I'm Adderon. I'm also Bongo Cat Man. I'm also Adderon Gaming. I'm also just a friendly face. Your Majesty, CarQuest Man, mm -hmm. Clash Buster Main, Fastgo underscore Games underscore YouTube. Who art thou? I mean, hi, it is me, the CarQuest guy. And then we have the birthday girl herself, Cora oh. Mora. Uh, mm -hmm. People who don't know, it is not my birthday. Fine print. <laughs> me, me, Cora, and Squidman were talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I, now make make Squidman. make Squidman the bad guy oh, or Vasco the bad sure. guy. We don't mind. The Squidman's coming through and being like, "Oh well, I'm not. I'm no longer a Squidman. I'm a Jerkman, <laughs> and I don't like I don't like Vasco's taste in anime. So I'm gonna come through and say, well, your your anime likes are invalid because this 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 and that. Because well, you like you like animes with girls as protagonists, and a Squidman says, well, yeah, because of that, then." <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your dog, <laughs> and what? Vasco might come through and Whoa. say, "Well, but I like, but a, I like my dog. Please leave them alone. They're not even part of this." Well, so then Vasco is like, Vasco is reeling because Vasco doesn't know how to deal with it. somebody disgracing their anime choices and disgracing their dog at the same time. And then, and then Adaron sitting here is like, "Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of funny. A, a jerkman, a jerkman just made fun of Vasco, and he just, he not only did it once, he did it twice." He did a wambo cambo. And so I'm sitting here puzzled because I'm like, oh, well, is this acceptable behavior? Like, is this okay? Well, then uh, Miss Koromora comes along and says, ah, 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 I'm friends with Tom Nook and Tom Nook can bust you a half if, you, if he wants to. Mr. Jerkman, you shouldn't say this because A, everybody's allowed to have their opinion, especially when it's something very loose like anime. You know, anime is something that we all enjoy and we all enjoy it differently. So please don't come through and be a jerk like that. Plus, don't knock, don't knock Vasco's dog just because you feel like it. And so now me, as a spectator, I'm like, oh, well, no longer, there's no confusion. You know, even if I think it's funny just because it's a joke, well, now I have more clarity because it's like, well, clearly Cora said absolutely N-O. Do you have a good story about that? I don't. I was just bullied when I moved to the U.S. because I was foreign and I looked funny and I talked funny. Because you're originally from and Bulgaria? Yes. And I moved here when I was 10. Yeah, and I old. had four years of English, so I knew some English, but it was British English. So, yeah. like, if you wanted to go to the bathroom, the British say, I need to go use the toilet. When I said that here, people laughed yeah. at me. And they're like, no, you have to say, I, I need to go use the restroom. Don't say toilet. I'm like, the British say toilet. Shut up. Yeah, but they stole <laughs> from. <laughs> I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. And then uh, a recurring topic for some reason was I always needed to like some girl, apparently, because if I, if I oh, didn't... Oh, yeah. You were homosexual, uh, yeah. You were. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if I did, they were gonna tell her right away, and it's like, what? <laughs> so then one time, it was, it, there was a redhead girl, and I was like, you know, she cute. And then her nice. mom happened to be the, the substitute teacher, so they go up to her mom, and they're like, he likes your daughter. Just, <laughs> I'm just yeah. dying. So they went up to <laughs> the teacher? Yeah, and I was just embarrassed. The mom kind of just smiled, but... This is awkward and embarrassing, and I don't want to. And like, I don't know how to deal with this stuff. For avoiding bullying, I I kind of just stopped talking entirely <laughs> in school. I was the quiet kid. I'd say for from sixth grade all the way up until eleventh grade, I just didn't talk to anyone. And I kind of do have regrets about my silent period because even though I was quiet, I was still like you know politely ask if I could sit with someone from my class or someone that I sort of knew. Right. Yeah. And in sure. one time, it was two girls and one of them turned out that they liked me and I didn't even know that they liked me. Like, I didn't even say anything. Like, I yeah. hadn't really talked to them. The only communication I've had with them was me, like, shaking or nodding my head and that's it. Like, I didn't say <laughs> a word. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this person saw in me, but they did. Like, they had gone out of their way and gotten me a cake and everything because they Whoa. figured out I liked cake and when my first day was. Aww. And I, I just didn't take it. I was like, no, oh, thank you. Like, what? <laughs> Fasco games. Because <laughs> in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to. Ex everyone's gonna ask me why do I have cake with me all of a sudden. Uh, really why did you present cake? Oh, no. They went and, through all that. You didn't even accept cake. Yeah, and, and they got really hurt about it. And then I really, like someone told me afterwards, 
you're like, man, so you really must hate her. And I was so confused. They had basically turned him down without even realizing it. I just feel oh, no. so bad about it because yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just felt like a jerk because I, I was clueless and I didn't say anything. And I hurt someone's feelings because of it. And then yeah. I think that was like a big, okay, I need to start talking, talking. Cora, do you so, have any mm. stories? Um, I have this one from middle school. For some reason, I always hated this girl. I went to like elementary school and middle school with her. And I like, I hated her the whole time. She was just a bully. She was friends with like all my close friends. So we ended up like at the same lunch table. And then we had made some like new friends that we didn't go to elementary school with. And there was this one girl that she just didn't like for some reason. I don't know why. She like talked everyone into like, giving her her trash one yes. day at school like everyone got up as we were all getting up they went over and just like everyone put their trash in front of her and i was just like what, Dang, what? what is this yeah. yeah so then she obviously like peaced out i became friends with her in uh, in high school again she was like one of my bridesmaids at my wedding and stuff oh, cool. but, like yeah so that was messed up and then like i was on the docket for like the next person to like be bullied out of it and I was like no like what is this I stopped talking to her and like only talked to my friends and just didn't give her the time of day and I was like I don't know why you hate me but like um, yeah once I like found my people and I like learned to just mm -hmm. ignore the people that yeah. hated me for no reason I was totally fine I was just like these people don't matter like they're I'm not yeah. gonna let them get to me because I don't care about them and I was kind of in the same boat in terms of, I didn't necessarily get bullied, but I was just very, like I was just a very quiet person in general. This really came to a point when I was in my senior year of high school. The teachers, they did this very risky activity, which was put your name on a note card and then everybody pass around the note card and anybody can anonymously write something on that note card. My experience was that I got my note card back and people said, well, you seem really nice, but you're very quiet. <laughs> like you don't say anything. <laughs> it would be nice Aww. to know you. So I ended up going into theater just on a whim. I was like, well, this seems fun. They need people to sing. But instead of just being like a backstage, like backup singer, I ended up being like one of the second supporting actors. And we did Titanic. It was crazy. It was a blast. Um, but in that, it was not something that I expected to do, but in just doing activities that I loved and meeting people who also enjoyed the same activities I did, I got to be more comfortable with talking with people and opening up a little bit more. And so that in itself helped me a lot. So after like a year and a half of content creating and slowly like meeting people, both as like viewers and con fellow content creators and stuff like that, there was just this moment. There was like this big epiphany. I watched Gravity mm -hmm. Falls and in one of those episodes, one of the protagonists says, oh, I have found my people. And they were, they were goofy people. They were just like her. They weren't like super popular. They were just people who loved the same things that she loved. I can definitely say that like, since doing like online gaming and meeting yeah. people through Discord and meeting people through streams and eventually starting streaming myself, mm -hmm. I've had that I've had that epiphany moment. Like, wow, I really like doing this. Wow, I really like video games. I like yep. geeking out about video games with other people. I like mm -hmm. geeking out about anime exactly. with other people. I'm not ashamed of it. So like that moment has clicked. Like I found my people. Um, Bongo Man Adiron Gaming. My last words will be thank you guys for listening um, and sharing if you did, but also just uh, absorbing our words because I know that we went into some some deep stuff today um, and know the deep conversations are okay because a lot of times they help us grow. If things are tough, it's okay because there's a lot on the other side. Thanks for chilling. We appreciate you.